this is the uh, example of a ball on a spring um, in VPython. So I've already, I've already opened a new program and I made a ball. That's all I did just to make sure things were working. Um, so let's let's make our uh, put in some other constants in here first. That's what we always want to do. So the uh, k, let's say, is I'm just making up something uh, 11. Um, I need that's it. I need dt. I need t equals zero. I need dt equals, uh, let's say, 0 0.01, which is probably too large, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, okay, now over here, I'm going to do something ball.m. This is the best way to do it. If you want the mass of the ball and you want to associate that with the ball, then you should make it like this. Um, so let me say so the mass is uh, 100 grams. Now, I've already said what the position of the ball is um, right here. And the radius doesn't really matter, but I did. Uh, so now let me also say what the initial uh, velocity of the ball is. Um, this isn't the best way to do it, but I'm going to do it the way that goes with the class. So um, you you could just do this as I'm going to do this the best way. Okay. So in that case, the velocity is a vector. Okay. And I'm going to treat it as that. And this way, I'm setting up good habits for you for later. Okay. I did it. Okay, so I think we're ready. So now let's do while um, t less than 10. Let's have it run for 10 seconds. Uh, if we want it to run in real time speed, we need this in here. Uh, so this says don't do more than 100 calculations a second. And since I have the time rate at 100th, that'll make it run in, in real time. Okay, so now I'm going to calculate the force. Calculate the force on the the ball. So I'm going to say F equals negative K times um, ball.pos. Ball.pos is the location of the ball. Um, so if the ball has a positive X value, there's going to have a force in the negative X direction. Now, this is a vector. So that's a vector. Okay, we'll just, that's important for later. Um, let me go ahead and calculate the acceleration. Uh, so a, just because that's the way we did it in class, a equals f divided by ball dot m. So it's still dividing a vector by a scalar gives you a vector. Okay, so it's just going to work out okay. Now I need to find the new velocity. So say v equals v plus a times dt. That's just like we did in Excel. That's just like we did with the ball throwing up. Really, the only difference is these, this line and that line. Now for the position, I'll say ball dot pos equals ball dot pos plus v times dt. Now by doing it this way it moves the actual ball and it will show you where the ball moves. Now I need to update the time t equals t plus dt. That's it. Let's run this thing. I'm going to have to move my oh, v is not defined. v Oh, ball.v. Haha. So it really should be ball.a too, but I already, let's see, ball.v, ball.v, and this should be over here, ball.v. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. There. So it's, it's oscillating back and forth. I didn't show the spring or anything like that, I just showed it oscillating back and forth. And that's the answer, really. If you wanted to, you could say, okay, I want to print out the position of the ball, so print ball.pos.x and then it would do that. Or you could print out the time too. Let's do both. And see here you get all those values right there. You could do whatever you want with them. But I don't I don't want that. Okay, the, real quick, here's another way to do do that. Let's go up here and go from visual.graph import star. And then I'll call this function 1 equals g curve. I think, wait, I always forget this. Hold on a second. When you forget syntax, you got to look it up. I'm looking it up on my browser, you just can't see. Okay, go into vpython.org and documentation, full documentation. Um, Graphs. Choose a topic. 
Windows. What's, what is that? Graph. There it is. Okay. G F one equals G curve. Okay, color. Let's give it a color. Color equals color dot cyan. Why? Why not? There's no reason. Um, okay, now down here, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't want to print. But I do need to tell it to oops, add in uh, something to the G curve. So I'm going to say uh, the name of that funct, that's short for function, uh, dot plot. And now I need to say the what I want to go on the X axis is the time, and what I want to go on the Y axis is the X position, ball.pos.x. That's it. Okay, let's let's save this and run it and see what happens. Boom. Look at that graph. Isn't that cool? Okay. That's it. Have fun. Stopping. I am. Stop recording.